Hi guys, Ozhan here and this is episode 13 of my server play series 2 We're using all the mods mod plaque um, As you can see I've got uh, the mechanism metallurgy confuser set up um, I'm going to create some infused iron because I actually need to create the mechanism pump Now what I want that for is that um, I'm just creating this red coal um, you know hundreds and hundreds of pieces of it I just have to keep feeding this um, oops, feeding the AE system because it's so extensive now that it's um, it's yeah very power hungry so um, from the last episode to this one I've done some um, slight changes I've put some dense cable in uh, and I'm running different channels, different sets of channels off the dense cable because I simply just ran out of space. Um, I've got ME interface, more ME interfaces set up with more encoding or more uh, items to produce. I seem to be missing a lot there. They've all disappeared. I had two sets of these almost full so I don't know what's, oh there we go. Well, that was weird um, yeah so I've done that put some dense cable in ran some extra wires I have automated the Fluix production here crystal uh, the Fluix crystals um, by using a vacuum chest down here with um, just a filter standard filter in there the vacuum chest won't take an advanced filter um, with a range of one so what that will do is um, basically do what I was manually doing before so if I want to create two of those it'll grab the available items and you can see them drop, did you see them drop into there? Oh, I've got my ring on I need to get one of those flowers in here I think and that takes it with a vacuum chest and it puts it straight back into the system here so um, we had some before, but yeah, it's created an extra one in there through the crafting. Um, yeah, to move some more things around. I actually started attaching, I attached the power to this as opposed to through the ME interfaces. Um, I've gotten rid of that to prep for my mechanism area. You, you'll notice I'm running over this. Uh, actually additions lava factory controller that's part of my grand plan to feed um, the vibration chambers with a different type of fuel um, but in order to get the lava controller I needed to, to empower some um, items from actually addition so I had to set up this um, power or this room um, with the empower in the middle and the way this works if I have a look for the lava factory controller requires empowered Anori crystal blocks and so I essentially put an Anori crystal block in the middle with a snowball grey die cobblestone and a button on the four pedestals on the outside and it will automatically empower it usually takes about 10 to 15 seconds I think maybe a bit longer um, and then you end up with um, your empowered crystals that um, there are a lot of empowered uh, items from actually additions which require different things this requires coal uh, ink sack flint stone um, and the higher tier actually addition items require that stuff so I've set that up um, in order to make the factory controller I've run some more cable around here um, I've also created in here a um, cobble gen room so um, just a basic of the of cobble gen the transfer nodes pull that out with the um, upgrade mining into the drawer here and then it drags it through um, into the crusher which turns it into sand and um, gravel the sand's got a 30% chance in the crusher of um, propagating um, I was going to use a sag mill but that was only 20% um, and your uh, gravel is 100% so from here all this does is it distributes to the 
um, gravel to here, the sand to here. It pulls the um, gravel in from the storage drawer into here, and then that just makes sand and flint, um, and flint ends up in there. I've attached this to the drawer, drawer controller, so that's available on the AE network. Um, so yeah, the reason why it's not working is because we're full, essentially. Again, I've used the um, uh, extra utilities to RF transmitter to provide power to that. This uses 100 RF per tick, so, and I thought it was going to be quite consistent. So I just ran a power cable, um, enhanced energy conduit from Render IO to the back of that to make sure that it was getting enough power. Um, so what I can do from here is I can actually get the mechanism crusher, crush um, flint down into gunpowder, and from there I can start making TNT um, all from cobblestone. And I can the reason why I'd want TNT is because the um, there's a flower in Britannia which can uh, absorb TNT blasts and convert that into mana. Um, so we'll get to that at some point. But we've got. Uh, Quite a bit of enriched iron now. And so you can put uh, upgrades into these machines, speed, um, and various different types of upgrades. So you've got speed, in just in this one, you've got energy, which would you, makes the machine use less energy. Muffling stops that sound um, that it's making. So we'll get some steel dust together and we'll be back. So while that's doing that, I've just put down another uh, infuser and we need to make some enriched alloy which is, um, the infusing material here is redstone and um, we just put iron in there again. So infusing material, go and iron, go, so take that out. Got some steel dust, I can cook this up now. So that's cooking. Right, so we'll get, get some more iron, chuck that in there. And we'll be back when um, we have enough material to make our pump. All right, guys, I think we've got enough material to get this done. Um, so we need to make the uh, pump. Helps if I put an at sign. Mechanism pump. The curious thing about mechanism machines is that it, I think it might be something to do with the NBT data. Yeah, it must be. But um, it shows you all the recipes for a different a, a type of set machine, so that's a bit weird. But anyway, uh, electric pump needs a steel casing. Uh, which is steel, the steel ingots that we made, plus some osmium and glass. Um, and then we've got our pump. Alright, so with the pump, what we'll do is um, I've also got a fluid tank here as well. I'm going to think about how I'm going to get energy up to this pump. I think I might just, um, yeah. I've removed these because I, I noticed that while I was testing in my single player world, they don't actually need, um, as long as they're touching, like any other of the machines, um, they share power. So that all those ones, those uh, vibration chambers are all putting power into the energy cell, which is good because that makes everything a lot cleaner. Um, but what I'm going to do now is to get one of the wireless RF transmitters. I've only got one left, but that is alright. And just put this here, because that can power the pump. I hope. Um, we want to pump... Yeah, we want to pump straight into the tank here. Pull that. 
So hopefully that's, yep, yeah, that's getting power, that's good. So it's taken out um, one of these. It actually takes, from the manual, it takes 150,000 RF to create one lava, which is crazy. Um, maybe it's 15,000 RF. Let's just check that out. Uh, lava. Yeah, the fact lava factory can produce blocks of lava given 150,000 RF per block. Um, luckily, once this gets full, um, that might not pull if that is set like that. I wonder if I can rotate this. Yes. I think it must have to go on top. Pick it up. Yeah, it has to go on top. It's not a problem. Um, so what we want to do here, in this, and because this works with buckets, that's why I'm using this particular tank. Um, not to say that none of the other ones do, I'm just not aware of them. Um, we put a bunch of buckets in there, they fill up, and they transfer into the vibration chambers. Um, and then we set just a whole bunch of in out um, so that power can't go there because I actually need to put a conduit there so let's just put that here maybe the tank's almost full already okay so buckets Sixteen of those is fine. I didn't want to do that. So that's ready to go. Get some conduits. That is set to um, all this in out extract automatic, and then essentially what we want to do is to do the same thing with all these. Um, got a quick way of doing that. I'll be back when I create that particular item that we need. All right, our conduit probe is what we are making. In probe mode, right click on a conduit display details. In copy paste mode, shift right click to copy a conduit bundle connection settings and right click to paste them. So, at the moment we are in copy, so shift right click and then right click. So that's an easy way to update whole bunch of cables which is what we wanted to do and because I never had anything in the top um, three vibration chambers you'll see now they've got lava buckets in there and they're producing um, AE so when they run out the lava bucket runs out that'll pull that empty bucket out put it back into the um, fluid tank here and just cycle through like that so that is now a fully automated um, system so I don't have to worry about that power anymore which is why I've taken out um, these conduits here from under the floor because they're no longer required I no longer have a need to um, disable and enable my AE network when I go and come back um, so I'll just fill this stuff fill, fill this stuff in uh, and we will come back. Something else I wanted to do was to automate um, creating um, the crystals from the seeds, um, similar in a similar fashion to what this does. I guess I could just use this here. If that's probably what I'll do, and I'll just move some of these uh, growth accelerators along here to here. So. Um, yeah, that allows me to run four growth accelerators there. 
and um, this will clear this area here make it a little bit more tidy because it'll push into the corner so I'll get that done and we'll come back um, when I get that sorted out alright guys I've um, just converted some of these crystals into the Certus and the nether quartz crystals pure varieties um, and now I'm just going to go and make um, the filters for these which should be straightforward I don't quite have enough um, patterns but uh, we'll soon get another one get that underway So essentially what we have now is automated uh, Fluix Crystals and Pure Certus and Pure Nether and I'll get the Pure Fluix organised after the break. Um, in the system we have got already got the ability to create the seeds so if you order um, one of these pure nether quartz and there aren't any seeds well actually the nether quartz I don't need to make a a, a, a pattern for but pure certus works so if I was to create four of those I'm missing certus quartz anyway so um, let's just do two okay let's just do one start that and hopefully that'll drop, that'll have dropped a seed in here, yep, there's a seed there, it's going to grow um, and the same will apply for the um, pure nether quartz seed um, so I'll get some more patterns organised, I'll get that sorted out and then we'll move on to our uh, next stage um, one thing I did notice is that while this is growing it's locked up um, my, my ability to craft things no CPUs are available because it's actually still waiting for that seed to grow and then get pulled back into the system and register that so what uh, my next step would be to create another a crafting storage or a crafting CPU and that will allow things to happen simultaneously um, which will be a lot better than what it is um, and that's what I'm working towards as well is um, basically be able to craft multiple things at the same time so essentially to craft that I need a 4k unit um, which is where is it there and so I've got all the stuff for it I just uh, okay so that's growing so let's do that and hopefully that's finished yep Um, okay, so we need a 4K not a storage block, crafting storage, um, which is pretty straightforward. I've already created the crafting block itself, so let's just get that together. Excellent, so put this down here and it's broken. Um, there is a particular order these have to be in. Okay, so we'll see that. I have to find out what the co-processing what the co-processing units actually achieve. Maybe you need one for each um, storage unit. I don't even know if they're uh, useful in this particular version, but um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish up creating some patterns. Missing five Certus, so I actually need to go mining to get some more Certus. Um, actually, I don't. <sighs> don't think I need it, but let's just try and create a pattern manually. Yeah, you can use your pure. or it can use charged so that's an issue with yeah I don't want to use the charged stuff um, 
so it's it's right the system's right it actually needs um the pure which means it needs to grind down some um, of the standard certus quartz that you find in the world um, so i'm going to get my i actually disabled took my miner out because i want to go with the um there's an extra utilities to uh, quantum quarry i think that's what it's called which is new um, yeah, the quantum quarry. This is a very cool item. Mines blocks from a hypothetical dimension that might have existed requires actuators to be attached to all sides. Takes a bit of power to run, um, but yeah, the only thing that's using power in my base at the moment um, is this, because the AE system is using um, all of the lava buckets that I've got in here. I'm just going to burn through that coal. Interesting to see how long these last I'll find out and I'll let you guys know um, but yeah I'm going to get some more certus quartz and then we'll be back so I can finish creating those recipes so I got my um, quarry back up and running we've got a newer version of RF tools on here what it actually shows they've got this cool little um, OSD on screen display I guess which hover above the machine and the only reason that's sitting I mean if that chest wasn't there then it would still do the same thing but it's a good little indicator of um, what the machine's doing. So that's pretty cool. And I think that's actually um, consistent amongst all RF tool machines, you know, from RF tools control, RF tool standard machines, and um, your RF tools dimensions. So I've actually um, now got all of my um, recipes set up. So all of my uh, quartz, seeds um, so all of these ready to go and I don't know if I've touched base on it in the past but um, keeping a certain stock of things um, in the system by putting them I'm just trying to find one that I may have done earlier but I think I've cleared them all out um, to say if I wanted to keep um, <coughs> 64 glass in stock Essentially what I would do is get the glass from here. So you see that's uh, got crafting enabled. Um, we would get the glass with a crafting card in there and just put it into the config here. And what that should do, it should kick off the machine and start making that glass, which is fine. That's what you normally do if you request a, um, a component or a manufacturing um, order if you order the machine to make it but um, this is supposed to be available to the terminals um, but it doesn't appear to be so that's still craft that should be incrementing as it makes the glass and then puts it into the ME interface I've tested it on several different items I've tested it on the machine ones I've tested it on the molecular assemblers um, yeah so that's a bug i'm going to have to report because and i think it's a pretty important one because you know you don't you want to minimize um your crafting because it just it does take time um so if i want to have 64 pieces of glass in stock so anything i use that makes glass well the glass will always be available and when you use it it'll top it back up again just by doing a crafting um yeah, so that should pull it back into the system as well. So that's another uh, bug that that is. Um, but that's a bug I'm going to have to report. Now, I split these two um, crafting storages or the CPUs because together they count as just one um, CPU, crafting CPU, but with additional storage so I can make more complicated um, recipes. Um, and what I noticed, and the reason why I noticed that is because um, I came to... Let's queue up a so we craft one of those, and we can select the CPU. You only had crafting CPU zero, you didn't have crafting CPU one before. Um, so by separating those, I've now got two um, CPUs that I can so I can create two process two jobs simultaneously. I had a look read up on the coprocessors as well. The coprocessors actually allow um, if you've got a nested or um, yeah, nested um, crafting 
item in there which requires the molecular assembler to make two or three prior um, crafting recipes before it can craft um, the main one this the coprocessor will allow it to use more than one molecular assembler at once so if you have a couple of coprocessors attached to the crafting storage um, and you have say four molecular assemblers and your recipe is quite complicated it requires four um, crafting recipes to make before it gets to the final one and it can make them um, out of ingredients it'll make them all at once so that's what the coprocessor does without a coprocessor this can only process one part of the um, process the, the schedule at once so if it needs to make glass, um, well it wouldn't make glass in a molecular assembler anyway, but say it needed to create a crafting table and then it needed to create um, some seeds for argument's sake. Without the coprocessor it will create, the, craft, the, create the, um, the crafting table first and then it will cue the seed, then the seed we made and then the process will continue. But with the, crafting, uh, the coprocessor it can craft the crafting table in one molecular assembler if you had another molecular assembler it'll craft the seat in parallel at the same time so that just uh, adds a bit of speed to your crafting um, recipes so yeah that's um, how that's done now these have to be in cubes as well which is why when I place the coprocessor down on top of this one here it wasn't a cube it was more of an L-shaped which is why it didn't form so keep that in mind too guys CPUs need to be crafted or built as a multi-block structure um, but they need to be in a cuboid form so we've got our yep we've got our, in, our quarry going um, and that's just replacing everything with sand as we know let's go over there and take a look So I've actually um, done quite a big range on this particular card. So that's going through and changing everything to sand. Sorry, dirt. Um, but yeah, that's about uh, the wrapping up point of the episode, guys. So what we'll do is we'll come back next time, and I think we'll start on. Um, getting mechanisms set up to do the multi the, the ore trebling and quadrupling um, because I'm building up ores in here and I had to process a couple of stacks of iron ore because I ran out of iron ore I had to process some stacks of gold um, so it's getting to a point now where I do need to um, accommodate that so thanks for watching guys um, I hope you got something out of this episode, particularly with my automation of the vibration chambers. That's a big thing because it just uh, was very painful to have to keep dropping coal into the resonators and then pulling them into the chest and then putting them out of the chest and into the vibration chamber. So, yep, yeah, again, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode. Ciao.